Good morning, everyone. So we are now on week five. So we've got through this quite quickly. Um, five weeks has gone pretty fast, actually. Um, next week is actually our last week, and then we will break all of our adult fitness classes until January. So week five, I think we are ready now to take it up a notch um, and look at our limbo move. So I'm just going to show you first and then I'm going to break it down and show you how to do this move. So if you are not aware of the limbo move, it looks like this. <laughs> okay, so you'll see that the hoop is, um, is changing direction. So instead of traveling flat, it's now traveling upwards. And this move is being created. Can you see how I'm kind of, I'll stand back a bit so you can see my feet a little bit. So I'm coming up onto the balls of my feet and I'm bending my knees, but I'm still rotating my hips, okay? Um, you have to keep rotating the hips for this move to um, actually work. So to get into the move, uh, first of all, we do need to be able to waist hoop first. So if you have not managed to master the waist hooping, then stick to your waist hooping this week, um, and then perhaps try the limbo at the end of the week or next week. Uh, to get into limbo, we, we begin waist hooping, best direction to begin with, so our normal waist hooping, okay, so exactly the same applies here, posture, okay, always checking that posture, always making sure that those uh, stomach, uh, tummy muscles are engaged, okay, the abdominals, alright, so kind of feel those abdominals, you want to tense, but keep breathing normally through it, shoulders down and elbows out the way, stop them bashing into the hoop. So, limbo, feet wide, all right? So when your feet are together, this moves quite hard. So keep the feet quite wide, arms need to get up out of the way, because as the, tr the hoop starts traveling, it's gonna bash into the arms. So arms up first. Next step, you want to tilt back slightly. Now it's not a massive overbend, uh, limbo I know, is when you bend back and you kind of go onto that stick, you have to bend back quite a lot. But for this move, we don't need to overbend it. It's just a slight tilt, all right? So just a slight tilt back, arms out the way, and then the move is created, as I said before, from coming up onto the balls of your feet and bending the knees. So watching here, okay, I'm starting to come up in a rhythm, okay, my bounce is in a rhythm, and I'm trying to keep that weight as central as possible. A lot of you might find when you first do this, it's quite hard to keep that weight central, and the hoop will tilt over to one side. But just try and focus, try and maybe look up above you, and focus on keeping that weight nice and central, coming up into a rhythm, like one, two, one, two, one, two, and it won't work out perfect to begin with. Uh, and it's quite energetic, as you can hear, I'm quite out of breath with it, but it's a very, very effective exercise. Um, and it kind of takes it up a notch for us as well, if you're kind of looking for a little bit more now from your hooping, um, opposed to burning, let's say, 100 calories for, uh, per 10 minutes of our regular waist hooping, the limbo can burn you that extra um, amount. And obviously, as you can hear from me, I'm still out of breath. So limbo, very, very effective move. Just a couple of little pointers. Uh, if you do suffer with any lower back ailments, I would prefer you to miss this move out. Um, as I say, we don't overbend it, but just to be on the safe side, uh, you do need to make sure that you are not going to um, aggravate any anything anymore, okay? So uh, leave this one out if you suffer from any lower back ailments. Um, so for our 10 minute hoop challenge, what we're going to have a go at doing is we're going to try doing that limbo for five minutes on our best direction, okay? Ten minutes is quite strenuous. Let's not do ten minutes yet. <laughs> so we're going to try doing that limbo for five minutes on our best direction. Then for the second five minutes, okay, we're just going to go back onto our opposite direction. Uh, you can try the limbo if you feel confident enough. Otherwise, just work that opposite direction for your second five minutes of this week's challenge. As I say, uh, if you want to give it a go, <laughs> we can limbo it on our opposite side. If you want to up your challenge and you feel you're ready. Um, but if not, 
uh, just concentrate on your opposite direction for that second five minutes, okay? So good luck everyone and hopefully we will see you in some of our classes this week. Next week is our last week of adults classes, so if you would like to come and try before January, if you've never tried it before, please do come along. Just give us an email first so we can make sure we do have some spaces. Um, email us at info at globefit.co.uk. Um, our classes are Tuesday morning at the Solent Hotel in Whiteley, 11.30am, uh, Wednesday evening, half past six, in Holyrood Church in Stubbington, and Saturday morning at 10am at Fairham College Dance Studio. So happy hooping this week, guys, and uh, we will see you in one of our classes. Any questions, uh, just drop us a comment on, um, on the video or send us an email. Bye, everyone.